When Carlo Ancelotti replaced Marco Silva as Everton boss back in December 2019, the future looked bright for the club. A new stadium on the way, money to spend and a world class manager at the helm, it felt like the Toffees were finally poised to compete with the top teams in the Premier League on a regular basis. And things ticked along nicely for the club during Ancelotti's first full season as the club attracted a star player in James Rodriguez and finished comfortably in mid-table. When Ancelotti left, the club controversially hired Rafael Benitez and the move just never seemed to fit. The summer transfer window was a quiet one with the Toffees largely purchasing free transfers though they did bring in Damari Gray for £1.7 million. A positive start the season saw Rafa's side win four of their first five games, but he would win just one more game as Everton boss in the Premier League after this point. He was sacked after a 2-1 away defeat at Norwich, and the club took the plunge and hired the relatively inexperienced Frank Lampard to guide them through a relegation battle. The results were mixed, with Lampard losing seven of his first nine games as boss. Everton rallied though to the end of the season and after losing a crucial six pointer against Burnley they defeated Man United at Goodison 1-0. Wins followed against Chelsea, Leicester and Palace which maintained Everton's Premier League status but was it just papering over the cracks? Lampard spent in the summer with Dwight McNeil, Amadou Anana, Neil Morpé, James Garner and Teresa Gay costing around £85 million while the club recouped around £65 million in sales after losing Ricarlison to Spurs. But the new additions have resulted in largely the same results. Everton are in a relegation battle. A defensively solid start the season saw Everton have one of the meanest defences in the division, but in recent weeks that defensive strength has dissipated, with the Toffees shipping goals for fun, 15 in their last 6 Premier League games. Three wins at the halfway stage of the season is dismal and the team is struggling at both ends of the pitch. Back to back home losses against Brighton and Southampton have really shone a light on just how bad things are for the Merseyside club. Relegation is a real possibility. But where did it begin to go wrong? Well the owners of the club are coming under a huge degree of scrutiny and rightly so. Yes, they have spent a lot of money, but that cash has been handed to the wrong people, resulting in an inflated wage bill and a very strange looking squad. Since Mashiri bought the club in 2016, the club have continually wasted money. Morgan Schneidlin, £20 million. Adamola Luckman, £7.5 million. Yannick Balassi, £22.5 million. Ashley Williams, £9 million. Davy Klassen, £23 million. Henry Anyekru, £7 million. Michael Keane, £25 million. Czech Tossin, £27.5 million. Theo Walcott, £20 million. Yeri Mina, £27 million. Andre Gomez, £22 million. Fabian Delft, £10 million. Jean Philippe Gabinin, £25 million. Moise Keane, £25 million. Alex Abobi, £28 million. Alan, £21 million. Ben Godfrey, £20 million. Abdelai Dakuri, £20 million, which totals around £360 million, not including wages. The club has spent an inordinate amount of money over the years on players who are not only overpriced, but also not good enough. With financial fair play rules hampering the club's ability to recruit, it would seem that Everton are stuck for a few years in this position of trying to keep their head above water in the Premier League. That is, if they can somehow maintain their place this season.